know what you're thinking. Raymond, what is it like to be a role model? And, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, as a guru. And a lot of you, you're probably activists and uh, leaders uh, and thought leaders in the causes you're into, but um, I care more than you. <laughs> Because I care, I, I, you know, I'm not boasting, I care probably five, six hours a day. <laughs> easily about stuff. I care, oh my god, I, because, uh, I, man, I, I'm trying, I'm, I'm fighting back tears right now. <laughs> just caring, oh, this planet, oh, I love this, this planet, I keep thinking about this planet daily. I, I love this planet so much, I live here. <laughs> This is, I'm, I'm doing this forever. I'm, I love this planet. I think about this planet. I mean, like, I look at other planets. <laughs> it means nothing. I'm committed. I love this planet. I, um, I, I only breathe out near trees. Because I care. <laughs> if you don't understand that, get out of the room. Where the nature is. I care. I care about a lot of things. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to bring this up. I, I'm just going to start uh, giving you messages now. I, um, social messages, because that's what matters. Uh, I think this might not even seem relevant. I think we should all sponsor children. I do. And I think we should, because if you use your credit card, you get air points. So, I care. That's, uh, I care about air points. Yeah. And as a... Uh, professional a comedian. This, this is what I'm, uh, I mean, you're probably thinking, Raymond, you're such a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here is a, you actually have no idea how great a guy I am. <laughs> I, uh, so why did I tell you? I am such a great guy. I'm, I'm actually surprising myself as I remember what a great guy I am. I am such a great guy. I, I once did a gig. I once did a gig for Amnesty International. <laughs> That's what I'm like. That's what I'm like. That's what I'm like. Uh, now, granted, I do have my mistake. I, I thought they were a dating app called Amnesty International. <laughs> and it was a way to meet <laughs> morally reprehensible women. <laughs> internationally. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, okay, that's actually a joke. I did not mean that. <laughs> um, if I say things that you think are really bad, I was joking. Um, and I'll tell you right now, so this, just from my point of view, it's very difficult to do a, uh, to, to do a gig for an, an outfit like Amnesty. <laughs> Not that you would relate to them at all. Uh, because they are in a, their entire room of, of goody goods. And goody goods, no, I don't mean that, I know that sounds loaded or insulting. Goody goods do not laugh. <laughs> because every joke brings up sadness. Because <laughs> you're such good people, you just feel it too much. <laughs> Seriously, if I, did a, if I said, why did the chicken cross the road? The whole crowd would oh, <laughs> <laughs> The other thing about the road, oh, carbon emissions. <laughs> Seriously, performing for goody goods is a minefield. Do not say minefield. <laughs> but I don't just care. I don't just care, because that would just be, you know, preaching. I, I also... <laughs> I also sell merch. <laughs> because obviously these causes, it's, not, it's one thing to say something, but it's another thing to get the money flowing through. And I think it's important, <laughs> as long as it's not my money. So as a celebrity, I tell people, civilians, to donate their money through my website. I keep a little bit to these causes. <laughs> I don't keep much. <laughs> Boys gotta eat. <laughs> And so there's causes, and uh, yeah, in, in, I don't know if you guys are up with the, the lingo. Yeah, it's called merch, <laughs> swag. Um, and so if I care about something, I don't just say, you know, do it. I, I, okay, so for example, um, I did this for, uh, I, 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 I thought, I think racism is bad. 
<laughs> I know, controversial. And, uh, but I don't just want to think that. I, I, want, I want to make money out of that. So what I did was... <laughs> Raise money for racism. I mean, against racism. You've got to get that right. You've got to get that right. Although, probably if you're raising money for racism, you'd make a lot now in the age of Trump. Because, um, so I thought, uh, what, what would be, so I put out a, a product on my website, um, and uh, I, you know, so that people could, could show how much they care uh, to, to the exact dollar amount. And so I, I put out uh, the official mug. Uh, a coffee mug. The official mug of non-racism. Only available in white. <laughs> and so that... So I showed how much I, I care. And you know, I, I, it's hard when you care about so many things. Here, uh, I don't know if you realise, here in uh, New Zealand, there's been something we've all had to care about. Uh, and it's obviously the, you know, the uh, people in Christchurch, the, the devastation from the earthquake. And I, I care. I care. And I was thinking, what would be the right product <laughs> <laughs> to, to symbolise the suffering in Christ? <laughs> so I came up with it. You can get this on my website to show your support for people of Christchurch. It's the official Christchurch vibrator. <laughs> and, and it has its own settings written on it, 6.3, 7.1. <laughs> Liquefaction. <laughs> Fukushima. Because, because I care. <laughs> we have a time yet? Good. Um, <laughs> so, I want to talk about uh, you people, because I know millennials are complete narcissists. So let's talk about you. <laughs> um, Obviously, uh, people, people like me, who grew up in olden times, <laughs> are better than you. <laughs> um, and, and I think we can see that life now, I think it's, you don't have to look very hard to realise that life now has made you soft. <laughs> Do you know what you have now? Some of you may, may have seen uh, TV shows. Here's what happens now. <laughs> nowadays, nowadays, if you watch a TV show, before it starts, it, it, they, they have this thing where they go, previously on Game of Thrones, or previously on Breaking Bad, and they'll show you bits from previous episodes so that you, they catch you up. In our day, we never had previously on. <laughs> when we were watching TV, you had to do your own remembering <laughs> of what happened last week. TV wasn't handed to you on a plate by the nanny state, <laughs> treating you like some goldfish with a three second memory. No, you sucked it up, you watched the episode and you were confused because you didn't know. <laughs> To the government <laughs> didn't expect Jacinda to come and explain what happened last week. <laughs> <laughs> and and the other thing, you know, you, you're you're frightened about things that aren't, aren't even we wouldn't even worry about. And you know what you have now? There's a, there's a lot of alarm about uh, paranormal activity. <laughs> 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 In our day, we were just haunted <laughs> by ghosts. You sucked it up. But now you can't say you're haunted because that's like a judgment against the ghosts. <laughs> it's like you're being racist against ghosts. No, they're just paranormal. <laughs> they're just oozing out of the wallpaper. I'm terrified, but I'm very accepting. <laughs> safe space bedroom I'm not haunted <laughs> and everything now everything now every character flaw of your generation I don't I don't mean sound judgmental everything now uh, every weakness is basically you get a note from the doctor to say it's something medical <laughs> right so you have an excuse oh we've got ADHD what 
Have you ever had ADHD? In our day, you were just bored. <laughs> you didn't expect to be interested the whole time. Things aren't interesting the whole time. It's the contrast that makes things interesting. <laughs> you don't want every line of the song to be the chorus. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Everything is medical. You know what they've invented now? This the fucking grief. Now, they've invented this thing called autism. <laughs> By Satan. <laughs> and you didn't go whining to an exorcist? <laughs> Sucked it up? <laughs> and here's how here's how, uh, how how you're just being pandered to. Nowadays, the, the attention span of the millennial is so low, we have to make up new words so you can remember things. Words, um, words like Brangelina <laughs> and Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> so you can remember things. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't need that. In our day, if the, the Queen was going out with Prince Philip, we didn't have to go, oh look, Philippibus. <laughs> Is that Elizabeth? <laughs> didn't have to write really yet. <laughs> we could remember things. <laughs> and there's such whining. Here's, here's the whining is about this whole uh, house thing. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me give an impression of, the, of the, what the millennial, this is this house house. Hey. Hey, never get in a house. <laughs> Maybe we would like, oh the hell. It's <laughs> too expensive. I can never get it. I can never get it up. <laughs> now, <laughs> I know, it's just uncannily realistic. <laughs> Here, here's the other thing that doesn't make sense to me. There is actually a, a, some, something of a generational war between uh, millennials and baby boomers who've got all the capital gain. <laughs> Um, and, uh, and really, uh, there shouldn't be, because they, you, have a lot in common with those older people. Uh, you, you are the people who watch TV during the day. And, um, so have you... <laughs> Did you ever see this show called Good Morning? Anyway, okay, if you haven't seen it, it's, it's probably likely because you have a job. <laughs> Because uh, it was a show that was on at 9 in the morning, right? They should have just called it, Why Aren't You At Work? <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, you're late. Right? <laughs> You've got a sense of, of how old uh, the population is by watching the products they were selling on this show. Uh, and and it's, it, was, it was an eye opener. Like, the, the main product they're selling on this show was magnetic underlay. Mattress magnets. There are people so old, gravity no longer holds them on the bed. They need another electromagnetic force. Otherwise, they wake up in the middle of the night floating, terrified, below the ceiling. And, you know, it's, it's either magnets or Velcro. And Velcro is a bad look in the retirement home. And I don't even know what the magnet is holding on to because the hip replacement is titanium, not magnetic. And I don't mean... You know, I'm not laughing at them. Um, because I have, uh, I have Asian parents, I mean Asian parents, and, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's good, it's, it's good, right, getting on, it's coming for, it's like, it's the good option. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I guess you're all into the environment. <clears throat> uh, la the <clears throat> uh, last, last year, uh, national running things. And um, there was a thing about uh, bottling of water that was a big deal. And the environment minister, uh, Nick Smith, came out and said, nobody owns water. Does it ring a bell? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I wrote about this and I just want to uh, read it to you and, uh, and, then, and then we can, uh, you know, Get hammered. Good. 
<laughs> so here's how it goes. So now I'm just reading. Chill, just look away, check your phone. 